So, I just thought I'd get you guys up to speed. Oh, not really up to speed, because, you know, in order there for it to be speed, it would have to be ahead of something, and this isn't really that. So, um, as some of you who follow me on Twitter know, I am getting ready to start um, a D&D &D RPG campaign thing here that is... Um, I'm going to try to live stream it. If I can't live stream it, it's going to be recorded and uploaded. Um, because this is really fun and it's something I want to do. But um, I did a a a, a little test RP today with my players and, and friends, and like, you know, make sure all everything is, you know running smoothly, the combat system I made works, it makes sense and all that. And I thought I would I, I was going to record it. But um it's like snowing outside so like my connection it was kinda bad and my other players are on phones, so it's just it all you would have heard was static. But, um, so, in retrospect of that, I'm actually just going to tell you what happened. I mean, obviously, I'm probably going to leave some stuff out. Uh, it's either not funny, or it's irrelevant. So, that was my knuckle popping. Um, it started right now with two Two of my players and an NPC. Um, they were tasked with, you know, re recapturing some escaped criminals in the forest. Dead or alive, didn't matter. So, my initial, th my initial hope was, I was like, okay, they will look for footprints. They'll do this, that, and the other, um, and hopefully. They will kind of get the one that's closest to them, then the other one, and then go for the last one, which had a secret encounter to it. That did not happen. Like, not even 30 minutes in, they make a beeline for the secret boss. At that point in time. Well, it was like... As they were tracking, they saw footprints of something very large chasing one of the prisoners, and they're like, "Oh, well, okay, that that's gonna be interesting." But um, you no, know, they follow the tracks or whatever, and they come to a clearing. And, like, there's a, a small, like, 12-foot cave out in the clearing. Uh, well, it's not like a clearing, clearing. It, it's grass, but. And like out there in, in in the entrance was one of the dead prisoners. And like they were going to go into the cave. But um <clears throat> as one of the character was like they they didn't have a torch, they had a lantern, they were, they were like, Well I want a torch. So you know they break off a branch and whatever. And then, like, they're creeping their way to the body because it's got the only source of cloth that they can use for a flame. And then when they got to the body, they see that there are these three long spines or spikes sticking out of this guy's chest. Which is, like, the only... Like, everything from the waist down is gone. Bye-bye. It's only his upper body. And, and the player was like, okay, well, I'm going to pull these out. And, like, the first two, not a problem. Like, these spines are, like, four feet in length. Like, so it's like, hmm, mm, this should give you an idea of what's up coming up here. On the third one, they rolled a one. So what happens is... As they're pulling that last one out, they kind of graze their arm and cut themselves. 
And this draws the attention of this cute little, like, mix between a, a pygmy pig and a wolf kind of thing. Like, it comes out from the underbrush and it's like, kind of like going, you know, sniffing the air, going towards her. Well, she's playing a dude, but yeah, the player the girl. <clears throat> and like as it as it's just making this noise, making this noise, the next thing you know, you hear this loud roar. And then within a flash, a shadowy flash in the moonlight, the the, the little pig wolf thing is gone. Just like whoosh, gone. And then it's like, oh no. Mm -mm. And they look up, and above them, in the fl circling around the clearing, is this like 25, 30 foot long manticore. Like, it is a big old flying freaking t lion with a spiny tail and human face. Those of you who know. D and D know what I'm talking about. It's gonna be the thumbnail for this thing. Um, but yeah, like this thing is flying, it flying around there, and they're like, shoot it, shoot it, get it down on the ground, shoot it. And one character has a crossbow. One character has a knife. The NPC player that I was playing had a spear and some other stuff, but so like they're. Throwing stuff at it, shooting at it. Um, w one of the characters, um, like the, the, she pretty much had to dodge like three freaking attacks. And if I remember correctly, she dodged one. With the, like in the span of this thing's first turn. It dropped her health from like a hundred percent or ninety nine percent down to like forty. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna go into all the details of the fight, but like, you know, they, you know, <clears throat> like she, she goes to shoot at it and she misses. She shoots. The NPC in the back. And it, it's just kind of funny. Because even though it failed, like, it it, it wasn't, it, it was with a magical attack. It didn't deal any damage to him, but, um, it, it, uh, increased the gravity on him, so he's pretty much stuck there. Essentially, and then like the manticore is like, oh, roar. the guy in the big heavy armor attacked me, so I must go and attack him. Nom nom nom. And stuff. Um. So it got hit with the AOE effect. You know all that coolio fun. Um. But yeah. <coughs> So like yeah, they're just having like this big epic fight, dot 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 with this manticore. It's like it's swiping at them. One character is like, I can't do anything. I'm a I'm a support class character. And I can't get too close to this thing. And yet they keep getting like two times during this fight, the the NPC who's wearing heavy armor got flung into them. It was like the only damage that that person took. So we got a pretty much an archer down, like by the end of the, like near the end of the fight, the archer pers person is down to like nine hit points. The um, the NPC he's down forty percent, like. Eh. Maybe 30 or 40 percent of his max health. The support mage, who really couldn't do anything, was at like 
90% health by the end of the fight. Is this like epic stuff? Like, like the the NPC spear was in the thing's belly at one point. He just took a a chain weapon that he had on an offhand, wrapped it around its neck, and just drove it down into the spear. So like he got impaled. It was awesome. <clears throat> um. I'm very gassy and I apologize. I've had like a gallon of Mountain Dew and it's all coming up. But yeah, <clears throat> so there's that. Like, you know, they, like, I honestly thought they were going to get completely pwned by this thing. Like, my, my battle system is different from traditional, like, 5e or any of the other editions. So, like, the combat system is a little different. But essentially, this Manticore had almost double its original health. So it's like, this is actually a miracle that they <laughs> survived. Because if it wasn't for the NPC drawing this thing's attention with it and being in heavy armor, they would have been destroyed in like two turns. But anyway, um, so they, you know, they defeated it. Then one of my player's um, phone well his his connection died or something so the other character is like you know in charge and like um she decides to head east essentially um and she rolled I believe it was a one on random encounters so uh you know as she's climbing over this log she trips and goes face first into the mud. Hilarious. <laughs> um, and then they find themselves to a pond where she rolled an 11. Now, it's like, I wasn't honestly even expecting them to find the pond, but you know, whatever. So I was like, well, she rolled an 11, so she's encountering something. And like, um, they, you know, they get to the pond. And like all the nocturnal noises, you know, frogs, crickets, and all that stuff, just stops. And then bubbles start popping out of the water, go pop, 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 pop. And these two little beady black eyes just pop out of the water. And out comes this like three or four foot uh, giant crab. And like, you know, while they're like fighting it, it's like, oh, it's, it's like, <clears throat> it's the uh, NPC goes for first. Like, he, he had first initiative. And as he's going up towards the crab, one of his feet just sink down into the mud. All the way down to his knee. It's like, well, that's a thing. And then, like, the support character tried to attack it with its familiar that it had acquired. And it was deflected, repelled back by this giant crab. Then came the magical archer person's turn. And that, you, you are not in a story notification thing. You are not a cookie. I would like a cookie, though. <clears throat> um, one second. <sighs> Need a new drink. But anyway, uh, then it came to the other person's turn. And she froze it. And the pond. And the ground that the NPC's leg is froze uh, was stuck in. So then they had to dig him out, and he lost his his shoe. He lost his boot, which was kind of funny. Poor guy. He lost the shoe. Um. Then. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Uh, they tried tracking again. They both rolled twos for encounter. I was like, oh, that I, something's got to happen here. This is too funny not to. So, like, they get lost in the fog, get separated, and then they wind up running into each other. But the thing is, the 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 female character, or like one one of them plays a, a guy, the other one plays a girl. The female character is a bit taller than the male character. So essentially, what happens? Like I had planned for them to just smack heads, but uh, I forgot that there was a height difference, and one of the players reminded me. So instead of them banging faces together. One gets a face full of D cup boobs, and it is hilarious. And then they, then they roll again, and they get a one. And then the female character trips and falls, and accidentally flashes the other character, and it, it's just hilarious. It was. Hilarious. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, after that, uh, one of the characters went hunting for, found some boar tracks. So it's tracking those. Found criminal number two, pretty much battling some boars. And that was a pretty easy fight. Honestly, it, 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 it that. Mm. The only thing interesting about that little encounter was that character almost fell off a cliff while they were looking for the boars. And then they stepped in pig shit. And it got into their boot. Which was kind of funny. <clears throat> uh, you know, there was that fight. Not really going to describe that one. It, it was pretty straightforward and easy. Um, then came the third and final fight, and they, the archers, like, like, the, the, the third one has this sword, like, the other two weren't armed and whatnot, so it's like, this one could be a bit more difficult, I mean, you guys have, like, half your stamina, you guys are covered in blood and mud and shit <laughs> you're most of you are like less than half health by this point in time almost and the archer just goes I'm gonna stealth shoot him and she succeeds or he whatever you want to say the character shoots him with its crossbow lands right between his ribs almost kills the guy right then and there and then the the guard just the NPC throws a spear into the dude's neck and it's like it was over before it even started and then at the end of the thing the the NPC gets on his mount throws some gold at at the uh, at the players and rides off leaving them behind and then they just slowly flip him off leaving them in the forest covered in blood and shit it was hilarious <laughs> um yeah that, that's like a rough estimate of what took us about four hours to do and yes that was like four hours of us just straight RPing it was a really fun thing to do. Um, but yeah, that was that. Um, I am expecting to... I'm hoping to do my campaign sessions live stream. So that, you know, you people can see, you know, the world that I've spent the better part of over a year creating. Have fun with. Um, 
I've been rambling for 20 minutes. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, yeah. Uh, like I said, if I can't get them live streamed, I will definitely try and record them so that you guys can have fun with that. And, um, my players beat a manticore. <laughs> 